Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2020 USC Viterbi Commencement Celebration. To begin our program, please welcome the Dean of the USC School of Engineering, Dean Giannis C. Yortzos. Good morning, everyone. It is my pleasure to welcome everyone to today's celebration of all USC Viterbi graduating students, whether they are undergraduate, masters, or doctoral students. Welcome. And a warm and particular welcome to, our par to the parents, families, and friends. If you're watching this here in Los Angeles, good morning. If you're watching it in New York City, good afternoon. If you're watching it in Shanghai or in Bangalore, good very early morning or good very late evening. Whether you and your loved ones are, it is my privilege to welcome you to our event. Allow me also to welcome my co-host, Marianne Schwartz, USC Viterbi Senior Dean for Advancement. Marianne, first, congratulations to you. I know your daughter is also graduating today from the USC Marshall School of Business and from the USC Viterbi School of Engineering with a master's degree in data sciences. Warm, warmest congratulations to a very proud parent. Thank you, Yanis, and good morning, everyone. As a USC parent, and Yanis, I know you're one too, I'm so glad to be here today with all of you. To everyone joining us today, it is our honor to celebrate you. But I do have to say, Yanis, I am a little disappointed. Usually you have some sort of fancy Zoom backdrop that reminds me of a vacation that I would like to have now. Uh, you're not in the Greek islands though I see today. Um, no, not today. <laughs> today I'm appearing to you live from my office in Olin Hall, the mission control of the Viterbi Engineering Universe, if you like, right on the USC campus. A campus which is so beautiful and so pristine today. It's good being back and so please, to be joining with all friends live. I only hope our Zoom connection will last without a glitch. Indeed. The Dean and I are pleased to be hosting not only this morning's live celebration, but also eight additional events throughout the day today. We do hope that you will join us for these celebrations as well. That's right. After this celebration ends at about 10.30 a.m. Pacific, each of our eight academic departments will also be hosting a unique celebration for their graduates and their families. Please join them. And today we've got some wonderful guests that have come to, to share messages with all of you, our historic class of 2020. It is indeed a historic class. We have all marveled and been grateful and proud of how all our students adjusted, created and innovated in the last extraordinary few weeks in the middle of uncertainty, rapid changes, unprecedented constraints. But one of our models has always been adapt to change, to sort of hug the exponential, as I, as I used to say. Indeed. We always knew this particular class was special, but over the last 10 weeks, we learned just how special you really are. Actually, Marianne, we've been imagining and sculpting this particular graduating class for many years. Let me explain. In 2004, the National Academy of Engineering published a report that imagined the attributes of the engineer of 2020. It is true. 16 years later, it is 2020. And the engineer of 2020 is graduating today, the Viterbi engineer. The committee that wrote that report imagined this engineer to have the following attributes, and I quote, the ingenuity of Lillian Gilbreth, the problem solving capabilities of Gordon Moore, the scientific insights of Albert Einstein, the creativity of Pablo Picasso, the determination of the Wright brothers, the leadership of Bill Gates, the conscience of Eleanor Roosevelt, the vision of Martin Luther King Jr. All these attributes are encapsulated and they are part of this wonderful graduating class today. I am very optimistic about science and engineering in the post coronavirus era, because if it is anything that we learn from this unprecedented pandemic, 
is that only through science and engineering we can solve big problems to engineer a better world for all humanity. And now I would like to introduce someone who shares that very optimism. Dr. Andrew Viterbi, creator of the Viterbi algorithm that has revolutionized digital communications and have made things like Zoom possible, co-founder of Qualcomm and for whom the Viterbi School has been named. A member of the National Academy of Engineering and of the National Academy of Sciences, Andrew Viterbi has literally brought the world together by eliminating distances and boundaries through his brilliant advances in communication. And he literally has helped us reach for the stars. Andrew. Congratulations, engineering graduates of the class of 2020. You deserve an extra ribbon on your virtual robe for soldiering through the COVID-19 pandemic. Seriously, I admire your stamina to make it through this challenging period. So good luck and good success in your careers and fight on. Thank you so much, Andy. So Marianne, are you familiar with quantum mechanics? Naturally I am. <laughs> now quantum mechanics experts tells us that the world consists of multiple universes. I really did not know that. I didn't believe it, let alone understand it. But in the universe that we're living today, don't you think that somehow we're experiencing just that with this pandemic? I mean, think of the previous universe a mere two months ago where someone's biggest concern was March Madness. And my concern was, would the Lakers win the NBA championship again? Now, we seem to have jumped into another very unusual universe. But we expect to return to the previous one, not too long into the future. You know, USC Engineering, having been founded 115 years ago in 1905, did survive a previous pandemic, that of 1918. So if history is a guide, we hope and expect to rejoin the exhilarating trajectory of our school of the previous many years. And in that universe, four weeks ago today, we would be celebrating the annual Viterbi Awards, our Oscar of Engineering. In anticipation, we made a video prior to the pandemic to capture all of the wonderful things we accomplished collectively as a school last year. Let's take a look at them together. Trust. In today's age of exponential change, where technological advances threaten to outpace our ability to adapt, trust is key. For when there is trust, decision-making is agile, and confidence in our humanity prevails. Nowhere is this truer than for institutions of higher learning, and particularly for engineering schools, whose graduates will be producing extraordinarily powerful technologies. But what is trust? It is competence, and it is character, a passion for engineering a better world for all humanity. USC Viterbi's commitment to building societal trust reverberated loudly in 2019. This past fall saw the entering undergraduate class reach gender parity for the first time in Viterbi's history, with women making up 50% of the incoming class, a historic record for the school. For Viterbi to be 50-50 male-female in engineering class is extraordinary, it's fabulous. Viterbi is the engineering school with the largest number of female graduate students in the nation. Viterbi also sustained its position at the top of engineering school rankings by U.S. News & World Report. In 2019, the USC Viterbi graduate program was among the top 10 in the country. Viterbi's online graduate programs were in the top five, and computer science was number one for the eighth consecutive year. And in a close partnership of engineering through computer sciences and the USC School of Cinematic Arts, the USC Games graduate program was ranked as the best in the nation. 
Extraordinary competence means attracting the best talent from all over the world. In 2019, the Turby professors Mata Magadam and Baroque Kushnevis were elected to the National Academy of Engineers. Even as the school recruited two other Academy members, retired four-star general Ellen Polakowski and new provost Chip Zukowski. Chemistry professor Mark Thompson, affiliated with our Mork family department, was also elected to the NAE. Two other faculty members, Neil Siegel and Gianluca Lazzi, were elected to the National Academy of Inventors. And Carol Folt, who has a joint appointment in civil and environmental engineering, became USC's new president. In October 2019, PhD candidate Gina Alhani was named by MIT Technology Review as one of the top 20 innovators under age 35 in the Middle East and North Africa region. Alhani is designing a framework to prepare the Persian Gulf region in the event of a disaster among three interdependent industries, oil production, desalination, and nuclear energy. She is only the second doctoral student at USC and likely in the nation to achieve this distinction before graduating. On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon. After he returned to Earth, he realized he was missing something, a master's degree from USC Viterbi. In April of 2019, students from the USC Rocket Propulsion Lab continued in his footsteps, becoming the first undergraduate team in history to launch a rocket past the Kármán line, the boundary between Earth's atmosphere and space. Their rocket reached a height of 339,800 feet, more than doubling the previous record, also set by another Viterbi RPL team. Viterbi's thought leaders continued to emerge as pioneers in new fields. Viterbi's Information Science Institute, ISI, is leading a consortium of universities and companies to build quantum computers and is developing SAGE, Synergistic Anticipation of Geopolitical Events, a multi-million dollar IARPA-funded system designed to forecast global socioeconomic events. Viterbi is also leading the new USC Center for Sustainability Solutions, a university-wide initiative headed by professors Mata Magadam and Detlof von Winterfeld, focusing on sustainable cities, transportation, and energy. 2019 also marked the 10th anniversary of the NAE Grand Challenges Scholars Program. USC Viterbi alone has graduated 163 Grand Challenges Scholars since 2012, more than any other school. And the program, co-founded at Viterbi, has been adopted at over 80 engineering schools across the country and more than 120 schools globally. 2019 also saw USC Viterbi tackle the largest humanitarian challenge since World War II by creating the first engineering course in the nation that took students inside refugee camps. The course, led by Professor Birchin Baseric Gerber, focused on the plight of war refugees in the Greek island of Lesvos, resulting in new companies like Duet, a student startup that connects donors directly with individual refugees. Indeed, the motto of the class was lives, not grades. But 2019 is just the beginning. Last year marked the approval of the Dr. Allen and Charlotte Ginsburg Human-Centered Computation Building. This new 100,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility targeted for completion by 2023 will be focused on human-centered computation, advancing computing for good. It will carry the torch of the Viterbi mission to engineer a better world for all humanity. Having reached many historic milestones this year, the USC Viterbi School of Engineering will continue to build on its vision and its past achievements and to lead engineering schools in changing the conversation about engineering. The Viterbi engineer is the engineer of the 21st century who will build trust with the world beyond our campus and demonstrate the power of engineering and technology to change the world for the benefit of all humanity. everyone enjoyed that wonderful video. Reaching gender parity.
Reaching gender parity, reaching for the stars by going into space, reaching deep to understand human suffering and innovate with solutions. They all give us warmth, hope for optimism and for the future. And now I would like to introduce the first of our very special guest who shares all of our values. A true Renaissance woman, Academy Award winner, Gina Davis, is one of Hollywood's most respected actors. She's recognized for her tireless advocacy of gender equality in media and in many other endeavors, as much as she's recognized for her acting accomplishments. As the founder and chair of the nonprofit Gina Davis Institute on Gender in Media, she has understood the power of engineering to help uncover the fundamental DNA of film and television content, thus influencing creators to dramatically increase the percentages of female char characters and to reduce gender stereotyping in media. If that's not enough, Gina is also a world-class athlete. She's an Olympic caliber archer, a UN special envoy for women and girls, and a member of the Genius Society Mensa. Let us welcome Gina Davis. I start. Okay, to the USC School of Engineering's class of 2020, congratulations. I'm very honored to be a part of this day with you. Through my institute in gender media, I've had the great privilege of working alongside Trojan engineers these past seven years, most notably Professor Sri Narayanan, to reduce harmful stereotypes in media. Now, my dad was an engineer, my brother is an engineer, and I get tremendous satisfaction from working alongside engineers and collaborating with them. <clears throat> and this school has been the perfect ally. Dean Yorkso seeks to reimagine engineers and engineering, and I've been trying to reimagine media made for children. Some good news on both fronts, as you heard in the video, USC Viterbi reached a historic milestone of 50% of the incoming class uh, being female. And uh, also that same year, Hollywood reached a milestone of its own. For the first time, the lead characters in the top 100 grossing family films were women, 50% were women. USC is who made this change possible. Research tools created right here at USC Viterbi can automate an incredible amount of data that we can use to challenge bias and inspire change. Why is this important? Well, at my institute, we believe if they can see it, they can be it. This change in media from the first TV shows we watch as children helps reimagine what's possible. It starts with the stories we tell ourselves. If we see something in fiction, it's very likely to become reality. <clears throat> so as they say, scientists study the world that is and engineers create the world that never was. I feel pretty good about that. And a big reason for that is you students who are here today. Congratulations again, class of 2020. Let's reimagine things together. Thank you so much for that message, Gina. Truly an amazing collaboration between Hollywood and engineering. For our next guest, I would like to introduce a woman that is helping to protect us against COVID-19 on a national level. Dr. Megan McCarthy is coordinating the national effort in the 3D printing of personal protective equipment or what we've all become uh, aware is called PPE at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. The Institute led by Dr. Anthony Fauci. She's coordinating industry and individual maker movements production of PPE in order to meet the best standards for face shields and masks. Dr. McCarthy is also the co-founder and current lead for the NIH 3D Print Exchange, a community-driven online portal to download, share, and create 3D models related to bioscience and medicine. Please join me in welcoming Megan McCarthy. Hello and thank you. Uh, greetings, class of 2020. Um, so as you heard in my introduction, I've been fortunate enough to 
uh, be with the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases uh, for the last eight years where I've been leading some of our research and development and services, not just for 3D printing, but also virtual and augmented reality. Uh, I am a neuroscientist by training and a science communicator at heart, as well as a little bit of a wannabe software engineer. Uh, but for the last Nine weeks, I've basically been thinking about nothing but 3D designs for face masks and face shields and nasal swabs uh, through a collaboration we have to support the supply chain for personal protective equipment and medical devices uh, with the aforementioned NIH 3D print exchange. Um, the response of the open source to community to support our healthcare professionals and essential workers has been truly overwhelming and inspiring. And I am aware that many of you have been using 3D printing to provide PPE to your communities. And I applaud you for your ingenuity and your generosity. Um, over the last couple months, we've seen a, a real explosion in adoption of technologies that can physically separate us for our protection or that socially connect us from robot deliveries and contactless payments to uh, telemedicine and, and virtual meeting platforms like this one. Um, so this, this pandemic has, I think, really reminded us of the importance of technology, including open source technology uh, and engineering in our lives. Um, but I, I kind of, I'm, I'm tending to wonder if how much we really could have foreseen, uh, how much we'd have to embrace these, these in our day-to-day -day lives or how you know the open source community of makers and hobbyists and and um, generous people such as yourselves would be standing in to to support industry, uh, or you know would you have believed that you'd be attending this virtual graduation celebration for which I, I commend the USC Viterbi School for for hosting this live event. Um, so it looks like our daily routines are going to continue to evolve over the next several months or more, um, but I'll just share the words from the author of The Little Prince, and Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. As for the future, your task is not to foresee it, but to enable it. And as engineers, you are the key to enabling that future. And I look forward to all of the innovative solutions that you will introduce to the world. So I congratulate you on your achievements, and I wish you all the best as you venture beyond USC. Thank you so much and good luck. Thank you very much, Megan. It was such a great pleasure to have you join us today. And thank you for all that you do. It should come as no surprise that Viterbi engineers also lead the fight against COVID-19. I could not be prouder of such an effort than that by our distinguished alumnus and USC trustee, Dr. Ming Xie. A graduate of our electrical and computer engineering department, Dr. Xie is president and CEO of Fulgen Genetics, a genomics company which finds itself at the forefront of addressing today's pandemic. Prior to founding Fulgen, Ming served as CEO of Cogen, a biometric identification services and products company which was, acqui was acquired by 3M in 2010. A member of the National Academy of Engineering and the National Academy of Inventors, Ming is intertwined forever with USC Viterbi as the largest department of the school, the Ming Shei Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering bears his name. Please welcome Dr. Ming Shei. It is my great pleasure to address Viterbi class of 2020, the engineer of 2020. It was a few decades ago that I was in your shoes. Having graduated from USC Electrical Engineering with a BSE degree in 1983, and then with a MSEE degree in 1984. Since that time, the world changed so much, and engineering was the main driver. Today, we are facing unprecedented circumstances, but I could not be more hopeful for our future because of you. I see in you a graduating Viterbi engineer, the most exceptional attribute that will help you engineer a better world for all humanity, talent, breadth, innovation, and creativity, understanding our fellow human being 
and the global society we live. You have mastered the empowering nature of engineering, and nothing is more empowering than engineering and medicine. In this endeavor, I have dedicated several of my efforts on cancer research in recent years. Based on the artificial intelligence, and with much more intense in the last few months, we quickly convert our capabilities to fight COVID nineteen, to process up to ten thousand COVID nineteen test samples at our laboratory, and we have been also working hard to create the equivalent of home pregnancy tests for COVID nineteen virus. Imagine, for example, getting rapid, simple, low-cost, accurate results without using a laboratory to detect the virus just in few minutes. We hope to make this low-cost test widely available for home use to detect the virus infection much quicker, much earlier, much cheaper, and much easier. I believe, not too far in the future, engineering and science will come up with the solution to conquer this disease, and to return our human society to its path for health and prosperity. It is a task that all of you will be asked to undertake soon, but you are equipped with the best tools and the mindset. And I'm confident that together we'll be able to build a world free of illness and disease. Congratulations, Viterbi Class of 2020, and fight on! Thank you so much, Ming. And now we would like to bring in the real stars of today's event. Representing their classes, we have with us two of our graduating students. Yihuan Feng is graduating with a master's in electrical engineering. She recently received one of her department's top honors, the Excellence in Service and Achievement Award. And Gavin Kress, the USC salutatorian, salutatorian, is graduating with a bachelor's degree in biomedical engineering. Gavin is also a researcher. In the Lawrence Ellison Institute for Transformative Medicine of USC. Congratulations! How are you both doing this morning? Good. How are you? Great. Good to see you. So, for your final USC test, we wanted to take a moment and ask you to reflect on your careers at USC. So, I'll start with you,、uh, Yifan. Can you tell us what is one of your strongest Trojan memories? Sure.、Um, so, first things first. I would like to thank you very much for inviting me to give me this opportunity to be the panelist. So, talking about the strongest Trojan memory, I would definitely say the helping, warm, and friendly studying environment, both in class and outside classroom. When I first came here, I can't really get used to the culture, the food, maybe the professor's teaching style, and so on. But later on, my friends around me, and especially my roommate Ariana, who has who has been a young Trojan for six years now, helped me a lot to get through the hard time, to get used to the school life, to get to know the USC history, and to assimilate myself into the big Trojan family. I still remember my first class at USC. I felt multicultural environment. I made acquaintance to a lot of classmates from all over the world. I was full of curiosity, excitement, and also I felt challenges. My professors really helped me a lot through my two-year master life. I would like to give special thanks to all course instructors, TAs, graders, without whom I would never have learned so much interesting knowledge. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's wonderful to share. And now to you, Gavin. What advice would you give to your fellow graduates? Hi, thank you. I would just like to echo what Ihan said.、Uh, I am so grateful for this opportunity, and, and I am where I am today because of the support from my friends, mentors, professors, and family. In particular, my dad, whose birthday is today. Happy birthday, Dad! You're all here today because you have a passion and love for engineering. 
not only because of your burning curiosity about the wonderful technologies of our time or the reward that comes with seeing engineering designs come to fruition, but also because of the impact the field of engineering has on humanity and the individual lives that can improve. My advice to you is to own this passion and to stay true to your aspirations to improve the lives of others. Thank you. Thank you, Gavin, so much. I wanna thank you both and thank everyone for your wonderful words in the chat today as well. We're enjoying those too. I wanted to say to you both, thank you so much for sharing that, that information this morning and you are now both technically Viterbi alums. Congratulations. Well, this was wonderful. Thank you. We lo look forward to the great things you and all the graduating class today are certain to accomplish. And I know that because many of our friends and colleagues think of the same for the entire class. Let's hear from some of them. Congratulations, graduates of 2020. Well done, and your degree is well-deserved, and it's exactly what you're gonna need to be the leaders that we need in these challenging times. I look forward to seeing you again as alumni on campus, and I look forward to your leadership in the world. Congratulations, graduates, and fight on. Hi, I'm David Agus, professor of medicine and engineering and a proud faculty member of the Viterbi School of Engineering. Viterbi graduates, on May 25, 1961, President John Kennedy made a bold proclamation saying we will put a man on the moon. The media the following weeks was uniformly negative and critical that we could do this. Well, July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong took the remarkable step on the moon leading Apollo 11. The average age in, in mission control in Houston when Armstrong stepped on the moon was 26, which means those individuals were 18 years old when Kennedy made his bold proclamation. The future is you, the future to change our world in a positive way with all of what's happened with coronavirus over the last several months is each of you. And I'm so excited and proud for the meaningful impact each of you will make going forward. So fight on. Congratulations, the Turby class of 2020, and welcome to one of the strongest alumni networks in the world. You've graduated from one of the most prestigious engineering schools in the country, proving that you're brilliant, resilient, ambitious, and able. While you've accomplished so much getting to this point, you're really at the beginning. So continue to always be brave, work hard, and believe in yourself. As a Trojan, you're expected to do great things, and I have no doubt that each one of you will. Just remember to do good along the way. Good luck and fight on. When you have an idea and you think it's an important idea, and you're excited and you tell someone about it, sometimes you get strange reactions. Uh, when Galileo had decided that uh, he had evidence that the sun did not revolve around the earth, but rather it was the other way around. People did not say, wow, that's really, really interesting. Uh, instead, they said, I don't believe you. That sounds crazy. Uh, some people thought he was mad. Other people thought, worse yet, he was a heretic. He was criticized by everybody, including the church the Roman Catholic Church until he recanted his ideas. In the modern world, uh, the church would probably not have a lot to object about your ideas. But people will say, when you tell them you figure figured out a better way to do something, they will say, are you telling me that you figured a way to do something better than everyone who came before you? That you're, uh, you figured out the best way and, the, and they didn't? And they'll say you're arrogant. Uh, they'll say, are you, are you telling me that you figured out how to solve a problem that no one else could solve? They'll say that you're crazy. Uh, when people tell you you're crazy, you might be on to the single most important idea in your life. Don't hesitate to pursue it. Be brave. Now there is another possibility. When people say you're crazy, you just might be crazy. In any event, Congratulations, graduates, and have a great year. By the way, this is my new COVID-19 haircut. Congratulations, Viterbi 2020 graduates. I know this might not quite be the graduation ceremony that you were hoping to have, but it is truly unique and something that you will definitely remember for the rest of your lives. It's also an exciting time to be an engineer. Our world needs engineers now more than ever. 
We have a unique challenges that we've never experienced before. This worldwide pandemic has highlighted the interdependence and interconnectivity of our world. You know, among Air Force leadership, we had a saying, every crisis is an opportunity, and this one is no different. We have the opportunity to affect real change, and your education at Viterbi has prepared you well. You have dove deeply into a specific expertise, but you've also been exposed to a wide variety of human endeavors and global perspectives on the USC campus. Right now, the world needs problem solvers that can think and work across the different barriers of science and art. So I challenge you to take your degree and take those relationships that you have grown while a student here and be a problem solver, not just for our nation, but for the world. And in the end, you will make the world a better place for all of us. Good luck and congratulations to all of you. Hey, what's up? It's me, Jack Black. I want to congratulate all the 2020 School of Engineering graduates of USC. And I know what you're thinking. Why is Jack Black talking to us? He's not an engineer, but my mom was. She got a degree in engineering from USC and went on to work on Apollo space programs as well as the Hubble Space Telescope programs. And my big brother, Neil Siegel, also got a degree. He's a PhD from USC Engineering. And I, I, I can't even tell you what he does, because, well, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Top secret stuff. Anyway, really appreciate all the hard work you guys did. Congratulations, and have a bright, beautiful, fantastic future ahead of you. Well, thank you so much, all of you. Inspirational and hopeful. And a call to action for our graduates to engineer a better world for all humanity. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you so much. Fight on. And do not forget to join us at the department celebration starting in 30 minutes. And to close this ceremony, reminding us of the Trojan fighting spirit, let's join in a special Zoom edition of the Spirit of Troy and the USC Trojan Marching Band. Congratulations, be well, and fight on.